Hey there folks, today we are talking about taco versus burrito. It is a uh, fairly recent game, uh, decently popular even. So let's go ahead and dive on into this fun little game. So taco versus burrito is a two to four, two to four player game. Uh, and here's what you get in the box. You've got your instructions, really simple, uh, nicely nicely done as far as illustrations and other things go uh, in this. So this is nice and easy to understand uh, what you're doing, how everything works, and then it also gives you uh, a little bit of the story behind it. So there's a seven-year-old named Alex who actually created this game. So it gives you a brief story of that. Then you have uh, these little holders right here, which is your taco versus burrito. And so each of these have a front and a back taco and burrito on them. And so you choose and you place that in front of you. You know, oh, I want a burrito. There you go. Uh, these are some expansion cards, which I have as well that we will not talk about right now immediately. Um, although I think they are shuffled in, so uh, forgive me for that. Some of these cards that you're going to see, I'll try and mention when they are, are the from the expansion pack. So you get um, about this mini card. So it's not a huge, huge deck, maybe a little bit more. I pulled some out because of the, uh, that is, you know, probably the expansion right there. So you've got a number of different kinds of cards. You have the food fight card, which everyone will flip a card. Whoever has the highest value, you get to take whatever card you want. So you have some action cards like that. Uh, trash Panda, you get to take something out of the trash. Crafty Crow, you get to steal something out of someone else's. Uh, you can give people tummy, ache, tummy aches. You can put that in their burrito uh, or taco to give them negative points. And then there's all sorts of uh, just crazy things that you put in your taco or burrito to get points. So you have like chocolate covered shrimp. That is worth three points. So I can put that in my burrito. And lastly, uh, there's a couple of different things. There is the health inspector. You don't want this card. If you uh, draw this card, then you have to empty out your burrito immediately and restart. So that uh, can be frustrating uh, at times for sure. Uh, for sure it can, yep. And then the last thing here that I think I wanted to mention is just the hot sauce boss, which doubles the value of whatever you have in your taco or burrito. So every single turn, you're gonna draw one card um, and then you're going to play one. And I forget if that's the order. Uh, I think you play first, excuse me, you play first and then you draw to get your, uh, you draw one to get your hand limit back up. There is no hand limit, and so if there's some cards where you can uh, say no thank you, no bueno, I believe is the name of the card. Let's see if we can find one. There's one in here, I know it. There you go. No bueno. So you can play this no bueno card, so if someone's playing something against you, you play your no bueno card, and then that action doesn't happen. So you can block any other action that's happening out there, which is kind of a fun card. You can also play a no bueno on another no bueno card to make it a C si bueno or make that act, uh, that action actually still take place. So that's one of the things where you may be down, uh, you may have less cards than you started with if you have the no bueno card and you've played those. Overall guys, that's really uh, all of the cards in the deck. There's a few extras in the expansion that we'll talk about in just a second. But basically what you're doing is you're playing a card into your burrito or someone else's burrito or an action card. You play one card per turn and then you draw one. And the game ends when all of the cards are gone and one person is completely out of cards on the table as well. So it's a really interesting uh, dynamic of the game where you're all playing at first and uh, it eventually heats up a little bit to where you're like, okay, all the cards are gone there. I know that he only has, you know, four cards left. Uh, I have five. As soon as he plays his fourth card, the game is over. So you're really trying to strategically decide when to put things into your burrito, what to do, that kind of thing. There is one card that's really, really uh, a big deal, actually, that I forgot. And it might be over here. It is. It is called Order 
Envy. And this allows you to switch meals and hands with a player at the table. So that's really, really big. You can, you know, be building up someone else's burrito and then you can play Order Envy and you can steal their burrito and uh, you would give them yours. So you can be doing nothing with your burrito and then at the very end, just steal uh, what someone else has been working for the entire game. But if they have a no bueno, then they can always say, nope, I'm gonna keep mine and you, you'd be done, that kind of a thing. So that, that's another card that's different that really changes things, spices things up a little bit, if you know what I mean. Really, really fun. So a uh, very basic, easy to understand kind of gameplay uh, once you get going, but really fun to see the strategy, how it works out with different uh, numbers of people and things like that. I've played a couple of three player games that I specifically really, really enjoyed, but you can play uh, up to four players. And I, even though you don't have, uh, you only have four of these taco versus burritos with the expansion, even without it, you could, you could squeeze in more people. They're just going to be a quicker game, less actual play per person, that kind of a thing. So you could play with more, uh, not really a big deal at all. And then if you're playing with two people, uh, it would just be a longer game. So there is a way with the expansion. Let's look at some of the expansion cards. You add a significant amount. So you got a number, number of good cards now. So now what we have are we have food poisoning cards that are higher. Um, and so that would be like the tummy ache is a negative two. This is a negative four food poisoning. That's a big deal. Snooty waiter. Uh, and all of these cards are gonna say foodie expansion right here. This is the foodie expansion. It's gonna say foodie expansion on the side right there to let you know. So the snooty waiter, he lets you take uh, one card from another player's taco or burrito and put it in the trash. So that could even be your own if you're wanting to get rid of um, food poisoning in your own burrito or taco, you could do that. Really, really nice. Um, there's a food poisoning up to five. And then you also get some of these cards that are uh, much higher, much, much higher than normal. So this one right here, this is $100 an ounce foie gras. I don't actually know what that is or if I pronounce that right, but that is worth six points in your burrito. That is a lot or taco. Uh, and then this is heirloom tomato relish. That's worth five points. That's a lot of points. So you have some things that are worth just an awful lot of points extra than the other, other one. Uh, this is a super crafty crow. So you can take two cards from someone's burrito or taco and put it into your meal. That's incredible. You have the super no bueno. I'm not sure where that is. Uh, super trash panda, you can take two things out of the trash. A super no bueno means that you, um, no, no matter, no one can play another no bueno on that. So as soon as you play the super no bueno, it's over. There's no contest at all that you can play in that. Uh, Truffles from a Haunted Forest. That's probably my favorite card in the entire game because it's hilarious. Who knows what that really means? It's funny. Um, and it's worth six points right there. Super fun. And there's the super no bueno. Super no bueno right there. Last thing. Two things. Sorry, there's a wild card. This card can be anything in the entire deck. So you can say, this is a super no bueno. This is an order envy. This is a whatever. You can make it whatever you want. You do have to call that card out by name. And then the very, 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 very last card that we have not talked about in the foodie expansion that is amazing is the James Beardo Award. And this triples the value of your taco or burrito. There's only one of them the entire game. Absolutely amazing. So it's a very interesting game where you're really and truly working towards a certain goal of getting the most points, but the timing of it is really, really interesting. You don't wanna to go too fast. You don't wanna to go too slow and get too far behind. But in the end, I feel like you're really fighting over a handful of cards and everyone is just gonna be fighting over one taco or burrito sometimes as well. So I love the way that it turns turns out. You're just kind of sitting on the edge of your seat thinking, do I have what I need? Uh, or, you know, is someone gonna just 
steal my taco or burrito or you're sitting there thinking, ah, can I steal this taco or burrito? Or are they going to no bueno me? Uh, that kind of thing. Thing. So this has been a long enough review. You can probably go out and play this without reading the rules at this point in time. Uh, and hopefully, you know, you would be able to do that. So really, really fun game. I really enjoy it. And the Foodie expansion, I think, is a great expansion to the game as well. I believe in here I just put some cards that show you. They're rule cards right here. So quick start rules, essential rules, and they have that for the expansion as well. So if you want to put that in front of you and be able to know uh, what cards are there and that kind of thing, that can be helpful as well. So this is the game. Hopefully that gives you a touch and a taste of what this is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.